Are you looking for educational games for your kids? My in-laws got us this game and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's really interesting. I've never really seen a game that I can think of that's like this and it's great for a large range of kids. You could even use it in your classroom if you're a science teacher. So let's talk about that in this video. This game is made by a company called Lakeshore right there and it's called Survive the Quake and it's an engineering kit is what they describe it as. And uh, this is a great earthquake simulation or simulator type of game. And so the idea is that your kids build the structure and then there's a dial that you turn right here with uh, all the different settings on there. Look, you can see it better on the back. I guess I should just take it out of the box, huh? <laughs> uh, so they give you this base here and it's got, you gotta put some batteries in it back here. But they give you, there's this dial right here, and this is how intense the earthquake is going to be. So you build a structure, and then you just turn it, and it does this. It's trying. Hold on, it's starting. Come on. There we go. Oh, I think it has to be flat. So it's really hard for me to show you. So you try to build a structure, and you want to see how well that structure will stay on the platform. So super cool. Great for all ages. We have a two-year-old here, we have an eight-year-old here, and we have a 10-year-old, almost 11-year-old here, and they all had fun playing with this game. They give you all these little building blocks. They've got little windows on them, and it's got, it doesn't snap in like a Lego. They just kind of sit on top just to give it some kind of uh, st stability. Um, but once the quake starts going, you know, they start flopping around and whatnot, and they fall off. But the idea is that there's different different pieces like there's this cool foundation piece here there's bigger foundation pieces here there are these column type of pieces here there are these uh, skinnier structural pieces here um, there's smaller little uh, two by two pieces here and so what you do bring this down just a sec oh they also give you this right here this is really great for the ed a more educational uh, aspect to it so it's what is an earthquake and they kind of teach your kids about how an earthquake works by the way this takes four double a batteries if you need some batteries uh, i can link those below for you but it gives you like the uh the idea of how an earthquake works very basic right here with the seismic waves the earth's crust shifting and how that creates an earthquake then you can open it up and they give you even more facts about how uh, earthquakes happen and how you can use this earthquake simulator as a game uh, to be able to test your kids. So they give you some ideas like try this, just stack a few things, put a foundation, uh, you know, just the basics basically to kind of see how the pieces move. And then they tell you to get a little bit more advanced to build two columns here, maybe put a platform on top and then see how that one works or build more of a flatter low profile building and, uh, and use flat pieces on the top to kind of hold it together and see how that one works or something like an arch type of thing, like a Le Triomphe type of thing and see how that works. So it gives you different uh, scenarios that you can create these simulations with. So our kids, yes, they do use these blocks and they have a lot of fun uh, putting these things together to create their own little buildings and then seeing how the earthquakes affect them. But this is great for, for educational game for three-year-old, educational games for four-year-olds, five-year-olds, six-year-olds. I mean, even our two-year-old will take this. He'll just start putting random, he doesn't even have to be these blocks. He'll just put random things on here and turn it on because he wants to see it crash down. And so he'll do something like this. And it's like, whoa, whoa, is this gonna fall? Is it gonna fall? <laughs> I think these batteries are actually running a little weak. If I had to guess, probably a kid put this in the box and didn't turn it all the way off. And so it probably used up a lot of the power in the battery. But Whenever, oh, there you go. Whenever you get, um, whenever you get some some fresh batteries in there, I mean, this thing shakes pretty uh, violently. So uh, you know, usually all this would kind of all go down and fall to the side. So uh, you definitely need fresh batteries, even though you might take your multi uh, meter and check your batteries, and they're like. You know, they got a little bit of juice in them, so you might let them sit in there. You might put them in your battery bin to use in like something a little smaller, but you definitely want some good fresh batteries or if you want to make sure that your batteries are, are fully charged before you use it in here. Again, we've had this since Christmas. 
So it's been almost a year and the batteries are still going good on it. So I can definitely vouch to say that it doesn't use up a ton of power. So you won't be like throwing through batteries, you know, uh, going through them. It'd be nice if they had an option to just plug it in. If they came with a cord so you could plug it in and put it into the wall. On the front of the box here, it does say that this is made for ages four plus and they only recommend that it's three plus due to the choking hazards but uh our two-year-old doesn't really put that many things in his mouth so we're not too afraid of the choking hazards so our two-year-old like i said likes to put stuff on here and i mean he puts like you know takes a penny and a pencil and puts it on here just to see you know how those react to the vibrating platform so Definitely check this out. I'll link it up down in the description below. My in-laws got this for us because for Christmas we like to get them more educational type of stuff and this Lakeshore company right here makes lots of great educational games. So I can definitely recommend them if you guys want to go and check out some of their other products which I'll also link up this and some of their other products down in the description below if you guys want to go and check them all out. But if you guys want to see some of the other educational products that I've reviewed here on the channel, I'm going to put that right there on the screen. You guys go and click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.